So I like to place the different orders in different baskets so I see exactly um, that I don't forget anything and I can like cross check it or double check it. So these orders are small, it means that I will just use a padded envelope for that one. So this one is one soap and a body butter and I like to put the body butter in an extra protection. some bubble wrap to wrap it in and my business card and then I have samples ready to go so I can always think about what does this client want as a sample so I'm going to put in my new hand and body butter for this one who is a lady and, and then we're good to go A label that says Sarah soap thank you I like to add that one as a, just as a special extra and as the envelope is already padded and it is inside the bubble wrap I know that nothing will happen it like this and I put the next tape on it. Here is the package and then the address comes on top of it. I'm not gonna show the person this is the first package. <clears throat> Second one. Second one is a gentleman. He ordered some stuff for him and for the wife. Aftershave, aftershave I also like to put inside a plastic bag just that it is extra protected, not that it's gonna leak or in everything but you never know and a lip balm here in between like this my business card and for him I'm gonna pop in um, shaving soap body butter and yeah that's it he already has the shaving foam here we go <clears throat> we pop on a sticker Slide it into the envelope. Oops. Secure it here on the edges as well. I think people really love samples. They like to try out things, and usually samples always gives additional sales. I would say in, in my um, experience 
about 80%, 80%, sorry, for that noise. I shouldn't talk when I'm making noise, I need to get used to it. But you're being very patient, so I'm very grateful for that. And the address comes on top. That's the second one. So next one I almost forgot is a um, little gift, bo uh, gift, like a, somebody who wants to make a gift. And it's a, a soap that looks like a flower with some glitter in the middle. So put it in a cellophane bag. with a golden ribbon like so and then I have some um, pre-made boxes that I make with um, a tool called um, punch uh, wait let me see gift box punch board from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. And it's very practical because you can just pop out a paper and um, whenever you need it, you can just make your own gift box following the instructions here with the measurements and everything. Very, very practical. I love it. So, hoping that this will fit. I think it does. Maybe I should fold it a little bit first. little gift box isn't it you can make a nice gift for somebody some you know little present all right so the next order is a custom order um, as you can see here they are already sh um, sealed with the shrink wrap and this is a lady that orders glycerin soap like every every month like a ton. I don't know what she's doing with it, but I'm happy. So I'm gonna show you how I shrink wrap them before I package the, um, the parcel. I like to smooth the corners, that's important, otherwise it's gonna be a bit edgy. So let's give the heat gun a little rest, otherwise it will overheat and that's not good. So um, here you can see an example that's a, like a, a honey. You can see the honeycomb 
on top, like a, I think it's cute. And then I have the labels ready for every type of soap I've made, so you can see spicy honey. And there we go. That's a black soap with uh, some sparkles on it. And um, I call it black orchid. It's a florally feminine kind of um, fragrance. It's actually a Chanel perfume duplication. bourbon flavor or flavor or fragrance not supposed to drink <laughs> not supposed to drink the soap all right so we continue with the drinking I find these um, plastic bags on Amazon In the US, you get them in larger quantities and they are cheaper. Here in Europe, they are a little bit expensive. But they, for a glycerin soap, they are very necessary because otherwise glycerin will uh, draw too much moisture and it will start to sweat. So it needs to be in a, in a sort of wrap. very colorful um, mix of soaps. I think there is, um, there is a li little bit for everyone, as we used to say here, meaning for every kind of taste, sweet or fruity or tarty or whatever. All right, so this is watermelon. I added some little poppy, poppy seeds just for interest. I think it's cute. This is lemon, very fresh. Orange. Sugar plum. All time favorite black raspberry vanilla. Everybody loves that. And what we are missing now spicy, spicy honey. So these are ready to go for packaging. So what I like to use is this type of um, 
how shall I say, folded boxes that are coming like this. Nifty tool. Let's do it twice, just for safety. Another one across. Gonna be a two kilo package. So, so first thing I'm doing, you can see here, I have a drawer with some tissue paper. I'm folding tissue paper. Like so. And like so. It should fit into the box. like this and now we are ready to fill them huh? I think I'm gonna put put them that way hoping that it will fit Okay, so we're good with that. It's pretty heavy. I hope it's not more than two kilos because it needs to go to France. And if it's more than two kilos, it costs much more than what I have assumed. So we're good. We're under two kilos. That's perfect. I put in my business card. Just a little bit shred down the middle. Let's see the weight. All right, 15 grams missing. Then I fold this one over. This one like this. My thank you label. Usually I put in samples, but in here the weight is really like, it's a problem. And then I close. And the funny thing is, at the post office, um, the ladies always ask me, why are your packages smelling so good? It's always funny. 
the soap smells through the package. And the ladies at the post office, they wonder what is inside there and why does it always smell so good. So by now everybody at the post office knows that I'm making soap. And that's it. We're missing the address and we're good to go. So the label with the address is on, so we're ready to, to go. Thanks for watching.